Toll Road here, and I'm in San Francisco, California, and um, we're about to get in a Waymo driverless car. So you better, you better buckle up, buckaroos. You better take a ride on the toll road. And here comes my ride. Mr. Waymo. Will you stop right here for me? Will you run me over? Look at the do hickeys on this thing. Oh my goodness. Hey, wait for me. Hey, who's the driver? TR. So from my understanding, the Waymo here has sensors. It can see up to 500 meters ahead of us. So they're not gonna run anybody over. Uh, of course, there's some accidents, but who knows if it was Waymo's fault. It's, it's much safer statistically than a human driver. Believe that or not, I believe it. Have you seen people drive? Oh, wow, look at this. We are riding in a Jaguar. I've heard top speed on these, they can get up to 65 miles per hour is what they'll let them do. Of course, probably not gonna do that on the streets of downtown San Francisco though. There's kind of sensors to the old cars that are around us. See if we run over these pedestrians. Okay, wait for it. Look at that. We didn't even run that guy over. But he appreciates that. Maybe this is just a novelty. Maybe not. I don't know. I think it's cool as heck, though. You don't have any awkward moments. Sometimes you get Uber drivers that are cool. Sometimes they're pretty awkward. Sometimes I'm pretty awkward. Like right now. And when I get out, I'll show you what's on the roof here. But there's a big sensor on here top of thing that supposedly reads everything. Drunks across across the world are gonna love this technology. Look at that. It's like a video game. Look at this too. They even show, of course they're not doing it now, when the tail lights are on in the car it'll show up on this. Goes. So I had to get another ride in one of these and have a Tony experience. Your handles, Dave. Your handles. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, the toll. <laughs> Let's do this. Good evening, the toll. I feel like I'm getting massaged, the music. Seat back. It's always they always put it like all the way up. 
Please make sure your seat belt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button. I feel like I'm using telekinesis to drive or to steer my mental, my ESPN. <laughs> Tony, how's it feel being in the passenger seat? I am in control. No back seat driving. Better, better driver than a lot of people I've seen. <laughs> This is, this is tripping me out. This is the way of the future. What do you say, Dave? Only San Francisco and what other city does this? Phoenix. They're looking to get them in L.A. and Austin, Texas. So right now it's just Phoenix and San Francisco have, what do you call this? A driverless car? Away go. Away go. No driver. Turn signal good. Now to California. Stop to see if it stops all the way. So I roll back in my seat. Bam. Slightly accelerate. People looking. Yep. Hi, you're on camera. <laughs> it's, see how it stops short for me. <laughs> we tested, tested it out. The braking. It sensed those people. Nice. Turning uh, another, they must be all Jaguars, huh? I see this. Yeah, is been a Jaguar. It's an electric car, smooth, smooth acceleration and smooth stopping. Look at the biker, should be on your screen there. It shows a car, it doesn't show a biker per yeah, se, it's but it, yeah, it does. does it? Yeah, I don't see, I see, I don't see the biker, but. You're blind, man. I am blind. Blinded by the fog. I'm in San Francisco. There's a dog. Is a dog on there too, Dave? Yeah. That is. That blue thing was a dog, wasn't it? All right. I'm getting ready to stop filming here. I just want one more test. We have a sharp turn up here. There's a car coming. We're slowing down. seat this time hello oh my goodness someone's short sitting here okay. all right heading to Hilton San Francisco financial district please make sure your seat belt is fastened for any questions, hmm. press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Look, Ma! No hands! So believe this or not, Waymo's history, you know, as futuristic as this thing seems and sounds, actually goes back 20 years ago. Look, all the way I'm back to Stanford University. Uh, they got some bright kids there, I suppose. That's and they came up with this kind of a racing driverless car that just kept evolving got involved with google you know google took over of course you've see, all heard of google street view and they started using some of that technology into this and in 2016 waymo was formed when it spun off from google as part of the alphabet incorporated and you have what you have here today started in san francisco i believe in uh, 2021 is when they first started making it publicly available they've got 300 of these driving around and you know, there's they're all electric they they'll pour it up somewhere and they're available 24 7. or 79 a gallon see that So if two of these were to run into each other, who would be at fault? All right, we finally got a race. Come on, let's get them. Give it some juice, come on. Pass them on the left. I wonder what the hell, little whirly gig on back cracks me up. Thank you. 
experience in a few days of riding these Waymos that your price is going to be slightly above what you'd pay for a Uber driver. So I, I guess the trade-off would be, I mean, you're not going to tip a robot. So it comes out close to even on that. What else you'll discover is that the Waymo is only available in the city limits of San Francisco. So if you were planning on, you know, landing in the airport and taking the Waymo in, into the city, can't do it. Not available there. You either have to take an Uber or a taxi or what I did was just take the BART train. A lot, lot easier and, and cheaper to do it that way. But you can go through the entire city all the way from, you know, Farmer's Market to you know, Oracle Park, all the way over to the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Can't cross the bridge because once you cross Golden Gate Bridge, you're into an entirely different county, Marin County, in, in, in the Sausalito. As I said earlier, the Waymo first became available in San Francisco in 2021. And I believe the next year they became available in Phoenix, Arizona. And as of right now, I believe that's the only two cities they're available in. Ah, but wait, they're coming. They're coming to Austin, Texas and to Los Angeles. And I assume the plans are probably to spread them across the entire country you know money talk so if they make money at the certain spots you'll see them maybe in your town maybe not next year or the year after but hey if we all live long enough we'll probably see a waymo in our town or some competition i have to think there's some waymo competitor out there i don't know tesla or maybe uber's working on something as well but as far as i know this is the only self-driving car company out there or at least self-driving as far as a uh, ride share and that, that's another thing too you can when you order one of these you can put you're willing to share a ride so i suppose it could pick you up and if there's someone else nearby going in the same spot it'll swing over a block or two and pick them up and you'll get a slightly reduced fare for that What do you think about this robo car here? I don't know what to think. <laughs> I'll tell you when I'm done, when we get there safely. Well, I, destination. I've been riding the last couple of days that we've only had two wrecks. Ah. Which isn't bad. Yeah, two burn three. Yep. And I know I'm kind of all over the place with this video, but I just wanted to show that it'll take you all the way. You know, there's the ocean right there. It'll take you to the Pacific Ocean. It'll take you through Golden Gate Park. It'll, it'll take you everywhere in the city and pretty convenient. Um, wait time on them, I didn't mention that either. If, when you order one of them, uh, that's probably, you'll probably have to wait a couple more minutes than you would for an Uber just, just because of the fact there's 300 of these in town and you know, who knows how many Ubers are in San Francisco. So if you're in a real hurry and you know maybe you wanna save a, a few pennies, Uber might, might be the way for you, but this is a very good alternative. People walking around. And yes, Waymo is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They don't have to give these drivers any overtime or pay them shift premiums, so you know they're available. It's gonna do it for the toll road though, here in San Francisco, California. And, um, who knows? Who knows? Who knows where the toll road and maybe in a self driverless car will lead to next? I know we're close, so we're in Chinatown.